Hello, have you ever wondered exactly how cooking and alchemy compare? Which one should you be doing? How should you be spending your time? Well, this is not only gonna just dive into that, it's actually gonna have a cost breakdown analysis with math showing you exactly if it makes sense to buy an item that goes into a more complex recipe, to gather it yourself, to make it yourself. This shows you the steps that gives you the math that allows you to determine that. And that's one of the most important things for all Black Desert players to know. So watch this cooking versus alchemy breakdown and how to determine whether to make the ingredients yourself or whether to buy those on the market and use your time otherwise. So let's start diving into alchemy a bit more. So I know you like the systems. I know there's nothing that you want to shy away from. I know you like life skilling. So alchemy is a complex life skill, but it's not as complex as cooking. So as far as I saw, you do have pretty good experience with cooking, right? Yeah, that's correct. Pretty high life skill level there. Okay. So as you know, with cooking, you have to make basically 500 recipes to make anything. It's pretty freaking annoying, to be honest. <laughs> but every time you do that, you know, it compounds the profit and you get better and better with it. Um, with alchemy, there's generally like two steps, sometimes maybe three steps or something like that. And more often than not, it's worth your time to just buy the previous steps or to buy like the side components that go into an elaborate recipe. So it is actually a lot more simple than cooking. And then if you focus on the profit aspects of certain recipes, you just make a huge amount of money very quickly. And then you would kind of wait until your resources stockpile up again, several weeks or several months, stuff like that. Whereas cooking basically with constantly getting milk from all the turnins, you can literally cook like 24 seven once you have your systems going. So it's, there are two different life skills in those senses. Uh, what is your alchemy time right now with the current buffs and stuff that you have? That's a good question. I haven't touched alchemy in a good amount of time. I know that I okay. have a to one outfit. Oh, you do? Okay, good. Well, that's not bad. I mean, that's, yeah, that's fine right there. So, uh, if you're making advanced alchemy stations, let's see, what will that do? Uh, I think that'll put you at a, that'll, it's either a one or two second cook or alchemy time. If you have a verter draft advanced station, like a sharp stone with uh, seafood cron meal. So you're, that's fine. That's pretty reasonable. I did alchemy with, you know, about a two or three second time for a long time. That'll be great. All right. So let's look at draft on the marketplace. Just go ahead and search for draft. D R A U G H T. Okay, okay. Yeah, they spell it like draughts, but it's I think a German right. beer or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So you're looking at it. So you see beast draft there, you see 530k? Yeah. Okay, so rather than just tell you, hey, do all these things, I'd rather walk through the math breakdown with you since you do like systems. Um, how's that sound? Because I do want you to really understand yeah, what we fine. have here. This is. This is some good stuff and people continuously overlook it and it's kind of hilarious. All right, so you can either grab a calculator or just listen. Either one is fine. I'll have a calculator and I'll be explaining each step. If you just kind of understand what I'm doing as I, as I do it, yeah, I think that'll be fine. You don't have to have a calculator. Sure. So the starting price here, you have six of them being listed below the price, but those you know are gonna be gone almost instantly. Right over that, we have about 3,000. Now these are sitting on the market. So we have a selling price of 530,000 silver. So if we sell that, then that gets taxed. So it looks like you have under 4,000 family fame. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So under 4,000 family fame, your tax is 845. If you have over 4,000 family fame, it is um, 0.855. And if you have 7,000 family fame, you get taxed uh, only 14%, so then your ratios would be 0 0.86. So for you, we're gonna multiply this by 0.845, which means we're gonna get back 452,000 silver per draft that you sell. Okay, so hit the little X menu or just look at beast draft again, we're gonna see what recipes go into this. So we have Grim Reaper Elixir times three, we have XP Elixir times three, we have uh, elixir of will times three. So let's start with, uh, we'll just do will since I already made you buy those. So if you have, and you might want to grab those other five blue will. All right. So if you have one of the blue elixirs, it counts as three of the standard elixirs. It says it right there on the draft. If you're looking at it, um, you know, three green 
equals one blue whenever you're making drafts. Did you already know that or is that new? I did not know that. Okay, cool. So, yep, when it says Grim Reaper Elixir times three, XP Elixir times three, Elixirs of Will times three, you want to check the blue prices because often you can get a pretty good deal. And this is where people miss out on profit. So for this particular beast draft, you need three of all these types. So if we look at the will one more time, I see you grab those five, good job. Uh, so those were between 60 and 65K that you just paid. So let me subtract uh, 452,000 silver was the silver we get back after taxes by selling the beast draft. So I'm gonna subtract 65K from that. And that leaves us with 387,000. Uh, so the standard elixirs of will, you can see these guys are up there at around 27k each. So a lot of people when they're doing this calculation, they're thinking, okay, three times will, that's 90k. And they don't see the profit margins that you're, you're going to be able to see after this. So keep in mind to watch those blues as well. Let's look at the XP elixirs. The XP elixirs are actually the inverse of what we just saw there because the blue are so heavily utilized. People just buy them to use them themselves. Um, and that makes you know their own decent demand there. Whereas the basic XP elixirs are not used as much. Looks like they're not quite min price, but pretty much sitting at about 8k with a handful of them at 9k. How many elixirs of will do you have right now? I have 647. That's good. Okay, 647. All right, great. Uh, cool. So that means you should probably buy out all of these elixirs as well. So you're going to need about 1900 and there's 1861. So just go ahead and grab all those. And there are a handful listed at 7.8k. There were a couple listed at 9k. I'll just say like 8.5. Actually, we'll round up. So that way, whatever our profit is, we'll be even more conservative. So three times 9K, we'll just say. So we're gonna subtract uh, 27 from our remaining profit of 387. So minus 27. Okay, so that leaves us with 360,000 profit per beast draft that we sell, but there's one ingredient left and that is the Grim Reaper Elixir. All right, so if we take a look at the Grim Reaper Elixir, we have two options. We have the blue and we have the green. Now making your own Grim Reaper Elixirs almost end up costing about the same as uh, just buying them on the market. So what it does, if you're making a Grim Reaper Elixir, it's gonna take fruit of nature, that becomes fruit of oil. I'm sorry, wait, oil of fortitude, that's what I meant to say. And then that oil of fortitude is used with four different um, trace of origin. Each trace of origin right now is worth about 55K. So if the oil is mid 50s, if the trace of origin is about 55k and you need four of them plus you need four different uh, dry powder reagents in order to make this you're actually looking at spending between 250k and 270k per batch now that was weird sorry i just got to follow and i'm not streaming so i was like <laughs> what just happened i hear a saxophone in my ear um all right so do you know how the proc rates work with alchemy no, I do not. Okay, so this is good to know. A little bit complicated, but I'm sure this will be good. Make sure you write this stuff down. So the basic level needed to make one of these elixirs, like the Grim Reaper elixir is skilled one. After 15 levels above, the minimum level to make a recipe is when you start to get maximum procs. Crazy, right? That's a little, right. That's a little known secret in life skill circles. So, whenever you're Artisan 1, you'll be making, you can make these blue elixirs basically. And uh, in order to get the maximum amount of blue elixirs, you would have to be 15 levels over Artisan 1. So now we're looking at basically Master 6. Master 6 alchemy is when you get the maximum from producing these Grim Reaper elixirs. Now the procs work like this. Whenever you are those appropriate levels, you would make on average 2.5 green elixirs per batch that you make and you'd make on average 0 0.3 blue elixirs per batch that you make. So you'd have to not only be master six alchemy, but then if you take 2.5 times eight 
uh, 82k. You'd get off the top of my head about 200k, roughly, maybe like 210k or something. Right. And then if you take the Grim Reaper uh, Blue Elixir there at 265k, you multiply that by 30%. And then you would add that to the revenue that you got from the green elixir. So you're basically looking at ballpark, you know, 250 to 270 K. So if the costs are 250 to 270 K and your revenue, what you would produce from actually making them is about 250 to 270 K. That means it's not worth making them. It's just not worth your time. What it would be worth is to buy them. So that's how you can decide whether or not you should be making the ingredients or you should be buying the ingredients if you're looking at these drafts.